Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from our channel, Who Died Today America? In this video, we will be bringing you a list of 14 famous celebrities who have passed away today, June 24th, and in the last few days. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 14. Hamish Harding, a British adventurer and aviation tycoon known for his audacious expeditions on Earth and into space, tragically passed away during a deep-sea expedition to the Titanic wreckage on June 18, 2023, at the age of 58. A man of insatiable curiosity and courage, his submersible craft lost contact and was later discovered in the icy depths of the North Atlantic. A figure who loomed large in the realms of exploration, Harding left an indelible mark on the Guinness World Records. He is remembered notably for his record-setting plunge to Challenger Deep in 2021, the deepest part of the Mariana Trench. He set the record for the longest time spent at full ocean depth on a single dive pushing the boundaries of human endurance and resilience. An explorer with no bounds, Harding's fascination extended beyond our planet. In June 2022, he ventured to the edge of outer space aboard the New Shepard spacecraft from Blue Origin, making his mark as one of the rare explorers who have delved into the deepest depths and soared to the highest heights. Harding's exploration journey began with his service as a cadet in the Royal Air Force eventually becoming a licensed pilot in 1985. In another first, he inaugurated the regular business jet service to Antarctica in 2017, continuously pioneering and breaking barriers. Beyond his exploration feats, Harding was a successful businessman, serving as the founder and chairman of Dubai-based Action Aviation. Hamish Harding's life was characterized by an unwavering pursuit of knowledge and the courage to explore uncharted territories. His significant contributions have greatly enriched our understanding of the Earth and beyond, making him a monumental figure in the world of exploration. His enduring legacy will continue to inspire generations of adventurers, embodying his deeply held belief that with courage and passion, anything is possible. Number 13, Sheldon Harnick, a towering figure in the world of Broadway, passed away at his home in Manhattan on June 23rd, age 99. Renowned for his work in musicals like Fiddler on the Roof and Fiorello, Harnick's lyrics were a unique blend of humor, satire, and heartfelt emotion that brought characters to life on the stage and resonated with audiences worldwide. His profound impact on the theater world was recognized with several prestigious acolytes, including multiple Tony Awards and a Pulitzer Prize for Drama. Harnick's passion for music took root in his high school years, but it was his partnership with composer Jerry Bach in the late 1950s that truly shaped his career. This fruitful collaboration, though punctuated with periods of tension, resulted in some of Broadway's most beloved melodies and unforgettable shows. Harnick's most enduring work, Fiddler on the Roof, won nine Tony Awards and became a cultural phenomenon, enjoying the longest run in Broadway history for a time. The songs Tradition, Sunrise, Sunset, and If I Were a Rich Man still resonate with audiences, testifying to Harnick's enduring appeal and his talent for crafting deeply human and relatable narratives. In addition to his prolific partnership with Bach, Harnick collaborated with other composers and also made valuable contributions to opera. He translated classics like Lehar's The Merry Widow and Bizet's Carmen into English, further showcasing his lyrical prowess. Sheldon Harnick's passing marks the end of an era, but his lyrical genius will continue to delight audiences for generations to come, a timeless legacy that spans both time and borders. Number 12. Stockton Rush, the courageous explorer and founder of OceanGate, tragically passed away at the age of 61 on June 18, 2023. His pioneering Titan submersible was discovered near the wreckage of the RMS Titanic, marking a poignant end to his groundbreaking underwater explorations. Born on March 31, 1962, Rush demonstrated an innate appetite for risk and discovery from an early age. 
At just 19, he reportedly became the youngest jet transport rated pilot in the world. Though his initial ambitions were set on being the first man on Mars, he ultimately shifted his focus towards the ocean's depths, seeing them as the last frontier on our planet. Russia's leadership at Ocean Gate revolutionized the field of deep sea exploration and tourism, enabling passengers to visit regions of the ocean previously deemed unreachable. His creation, the Ocean Gate Foundation, spurred technological advancements in the fields of marine science, history, and archaeology. But Rush was not just a businessman, he was an adventurer at heart, never shying away from challenging the status quo and pushing boundaries. He once noted, at some point you're going to take some risk, and it really is a risk-reward question. His willingness to take risks and his innovative vision has paved the way for a new era of understanding and appreciation of the depths of our oceans. While his passing is untimely and deeply felt, Stockton Rush's bold vision and significant contributions to marine exploration will continue to inspire future generations of adventurers. His personal journey may have come to an end, but his legacy will undeniably ripple through the ages, influencing the future course of underwater exploration. Number 11. George Winterling, the trailblazing chief meteorologist for WJXT4 for an impressive 47 years, passed away at the age of 91 on June 21, 2023. Winterling's contributions to the field of meteorology, including the development of the term humature, now known as the heat index, revolutionized how we understand the true feeling of heat outdoors. Launching his career as WJXT's first meteorologist in 1962, Winterling holds the remarkable record of being the sole meteorologist to accurately predict Hurricane Dora striking Northeast Florida in 1964, an astounding feat that speaks to his expertise and resourcefulness. Demonstrating a dedication to accuracy and innovation, Winterling even installed weather equipment on the roof of WJXT to gather his own data. But Winterling was more than just a meteorologist. A Florida State University graduate, he was also remembered for his warmth, humor, and community engagement. He was a frequent visitor to schools and businesses, educating the public about weather patterns, and his gardening segments on WJXT were a huge hit. Upon his retirement in 2009, his 47 years of devoted public service were recognized by the Jacksonville City Council, an acknowledgement of a remarkable career that left a lasting impact on countless lives. His legacy continues to be remembered and honored today. The TV studio at WJXT bears his name, and the road leading to the station has been fittingly named Winterling Way. His dedication and contributions to meteorology will be remembered for generations to come. Number 10. John Waddington, a founding guitarist of the seminal post-punk band The Pop Group, passed away at the age of 63 on June 21, 2023. The cause of death has not been revealed. Waddington was a crucial figure in the post-punk music landscape, innovatively melding funk and dub-indebted riffs into the genre's fabric. Established in Bristol in 1977, the pop group defied the constraints of traditional punk, blending Dadaist lyrics, sharp political commentary against the Thatcher era, and avant-garde compositions, all under Waddington's creative guidance. He introduced a fresh edge to the genre, skillfully weaving dub and funk into a unique style that not only typified the post-punk era, but also inspired early 2000s dance punk revivalists like Liars. After the pop group released their strikingly political album, For How Much Longer Do We Tolerate Mass Murder? In 1980, the band disbanded, but Waddington's artistic journey didn't end there. He collaborated on Maximum Joy's debut in 1981, Station MXJY, and made significant contributions to New Age Steppers and Judy Nylon Records in the following decade. The loss of John Waddington is a considerable blow to the music industry. His distinctive musicianship and resilient energy have imprinted a lasting legacy on the post-punk scene. As per the heartfelt statement from the pop group, both his unforgettable musicianship and his camaraderie will be deeply missed. Number 9. Peter Brotsman, the iconic free jazz saxophonist affectionately dubbed Machine Gun, 
for his explosive playing style, passed away at the age of 82 on June 22, 2023. His life, as dynamic and vibrant as his music, left a considerable mark on the world of jazz. A pioneering figure in the 1960s free jazz movement, Brotsman reshaped traditional jazz with his unpredictable and spirited approach. Brotsman's groundbreaking 1968 album Machine Gun, recorded with an octet, marked a defining moment in free jazz. It encapsulated the zeitgeist of that era, its joy, anger, and anxieties, and shaped the music of countless artists to come. Over his illustrious career, Brotsman collaborated with a diverse range of musicians around the globe, continuously evolving his music while always retaining the intense, visceral quality that defined his style. Though his musical career was storied and impressive, Brotsman never compromised his artistic expression, a testament to his commitment to artistic independence, a trait honed during his early days with Korean Fluxus artist Nam Jun Paik. Beyond music, Brotsman also had a deep connection to visual art, reflected in his creative album cover designs. His influence extended past the realm of music. He symbolized a social mission, fostering unity through his art. The legacy of Peter Brotsman is not just preserved in his prolific discography, but also in the fiery spirit he brought to the world of free jazz. His uncompromising commitment to artistic independence, coupled with a relentless exploration of new soundscapes, has left a lasting imprint on the world of music. Number 8. Choi Sung Bong the extraordinary operatic singer who captivated audiences worldwide with his touching performances on Korea's Got Talent, tragically passed away at the age of 33 on June 20th. Known for his stirring rendition of Ennio Morricone's Nella Fantasia, his immense talent shone through each of his performances. After living a challenging childhood and adolescent life on the streets, Choi's journey to stardom took off in 2011 when he became the runner-up on Korea's Got Talent. His stunning performance was watched over 21 million times on YouTube, elevating him to international fame. This newfound success led to a recording contract and the publication of his memoir, capturing the hearts of millions who connected with his music and inspiring personal story. However, a troubling turn in 2021 saw Choi embroiled in controversy when he falsely claimed to have cancer during a publicly announced fundraising campaign. He subsequently returned the funds and apologized to his supporters, posting a final apology on YouTube a day before his tragic passing. Choi Sung Bong's undeniable talent and dedication to his craft moved audiences worldwide. Despite his tumultuous personal journey, his music continues to touch the hearts of millions. His untimely passing is not only a significant loss to the music world, but also serves as a stark reminder of the pressing need for mental health support, particularly for artists in the limelight. His heartbreaking story amplifies the ongoing conversation about mental health and the intense pressures of fame. Number 7. Ellen McElwain, the awe-inspiring slide guitarist celebrated for her powerful vocals, eclectic style, and connection to music legend Jimi Hendrix, has passed away at the age of 75 on June 23, 2023. The cause of death was esophageal cancer. Beginning her music journey in the vibrant New York scene, McElwain had the honor of sharing the stage with the iconic Hendrix, reflecting an era marked by creative audacity and musical innovation. Though societal constraints of the time put a ceiling on her fame compared to contemporaries like Bonnie Raitt and Chrissy Hind, McElwain nonetheless carved out her unique lane. She emerged as a respected slide guitarist, captivating critics and guitar lovers with her diverse musical influences, from blues to rock and world music. She even showcased her versatility by performing blues numbers in Japanese. With the release of her debut solo album, Honky Tonk Angel, in 1972, McElwain demonstrated her vocal dynamism and skilled guitar playing. Despite the respect she commanded within the industry, mainstream success was regrettably elusive. As her close friend Sharon Toes aptly noted, Ellen was wasted on the boomers. She should have come out 20 years later, because the millennials would have been blown away by someone of her talent. Even so, McElwain's legacy is far from ordinary. 
It's not defined by chart-topping hits, but by her unwavering devotion to her craft, her bold and versatile approach to music, and her influential footprint on the world of slide guitar. Her impact continues to echo in the heart of the industry, forever reminding us of the spirit of innovation that defined her remarkable career. Number 6. Claude Sarraute, a venerable French journalist and novelist whose career spanned over six decades, passed away at the age of 95 on June 20th. A cultural luminary and symbol of Le Monde, Sarraute was an essential fixture in French journalism and literature. Born to Nathalie Sarraute, a forerunner of the Nouveau Roman literary movement, she crafted a distinctive, audacious tone in her own work. Sarraute's journey with Le Monde commenced in 1953, and she swiftly ascended to one of its grand plumes, lending her unique voice to the Sur le Vif column for nearly a decade. Her talent, however, was not confined to the realm of the written word. She carved a successful path in broadcasting, featuring on Laurent Ruquier's On a Taut Essay and Les Grosses Têtes on RTL. Sarraute's amalgamation of intellect, wit, and humor resulted in significant contributions to French culture, both on paper and over the airwaves. While Sarraute's passing is a profound loss to the world of French journalism and literature, her legacy is enduring. Her unique style, epitomized by her iconic pen, has imprinted itself on generations of readers and listeners. Her body of work stands as a tribute to her intellect, humor, and a singular worldview. As we mourn her passing, we also celebrate the rich and enduring legacy she leaves behind, which will continue to inspire and inform future generations. Number 5. Ronnie Nolan, the legendary Irish footballer and beacon of excellence, passed away at the age of 89 on June 22nd. With a career that is etched in the annals of Irish football, Nolan's commitment, skill, and unyielding drive earned him a place of honor in the sport's history. Nolan's illustrious journey began in 1952 when he joined the Shamrock Rovers, marking the start of an extraordinary tenure. During his time with the club, Nolan clinched four league titles and six FAI Cups, cementing his position as one of their all-time greats. His exceptional drive and dedication facilitated his smooth transition into the role of assistant manager at Bohemians in 1967, where he shepherded the team to an FAI Cup victory in 1970. Nolan's remarkable talent extended to the international stage as well, where he represented the Republic of Ireland with remarkable distinction, earning 10 caps over a six-year period from 1956 to 1962. His compelling performances on the international field added another facet to his legendary status. Ronnie Nolan's legacy is one that goes beyond the confines of football. His invaluable contributions to the sport, both as a player and manager, made him a revered figure in Irish football. His legacy will forever resonate with fans of the game, and his indomitable spirit continues to inspire future generations. His passing is a significant loss for the world of football, but his influence will undoubtedly endure. Number 4. Bresson Manor, the former Denver Broncos defensive end and stalwart of the Orange Crush defense, passed away at the age of 70 on June 20th. Instrumental in steering the Broncos to their first Super Bowl in 1977, Manor's impact on the field was as commanding as his stature. His journey into football began at the University of Arkansas Razorbacks under the tutelage of future Hall of Famer Jimmy Johnson. His impressive college performance, which included 173 total tackles in his junior and senior seasons, earned him a 15th round selection by the New York Jets in the NFL Draft. But it was the Denver Broncos where Manor truly made his mark. In his eight seasons with the Broncos from 1976 to 1984, he became an essential part of the team's identity, recording 22 of his 23 career sacks. His fond reminiscing of the team's fearsome Orange Crush defense in a 2018 statement attests to the significant role he played in crafting its legacy. Manor's legacy, however, extends beyond the professional field. After hanging up his cleats, he received accolades for his collegiate accomplishments, 
with inductions into the University of Arkansas Hall of Honor in 2011 and the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame in 2018. The passing of Brisson Manor is indeed a heavy loss for the football community. His commitment, his skill and his spirit both on and off the field will continue to inspire future generations of athletes. His name will forever be synonymous with an era of Denver Broncos football marked by grit, fearlessness, and an unforgettable orange crush defense. Number three, Margarita Prakatan, the exuberant Cuban singer, brought an infectious joy to every performance, endearing herself to audiences worldwide. Prakatan passed away at the age of 89 on June 23, 2023. The captivating entertainer was catapulted to stardom after being discovered by renowned British broadcaster Clive James on US cable TV. She subsequently became a household name in the UK thanks to her recurring appearances on James's ITV chat show. Prakatan sprinkled a distinctive Hispanic zest into numerous well-known songs, charming viewers with her vibrant fashion choices, thick accent, and unique musical interpretations. Her vivacious personality and stage presence made her an unforgettable figure in 1990s television. James once encapsulated her essence stating, Margarita gives everything she's got every time, and confirming the authenticity of her exuberant persona. When people ask me if it's all an act, I give them the true answer, no it isn't, she's really like that. Her versatile career extended beyond James's show as she lit up various platforms, including a recent guest appearance on The Real Housewives of New York City. Her life, mirroring her energetic performances, culminated on a high note as she left for the ultimate happy hours in the sky, according to updates on her social media accounts. The enduring spirit of Prakatan was never more apparent than in her emotional tribute to Clive James upon his passing in 2019. She praised his intelligence, talent and beautiful way of living, a sentiment that now echoes in the many tributes pouring in for Prakatan herself. Her unique style and unforgettable personality will continue to bring joy to audiences for generations to come. Number 2. Stephane de Mol former Red Devil and an influential figure in international football, passed away from a heart attack at the age of 57 on June 22, 2023. Known for his immense skill and dynamic presence, de Mol's illustrious career saw him make substantial contributions at both domestic and international levels. De Mol began his career at Anderlecht, leaving an indelible mark on the club's history with his essential contributions to three league titles and a Belgian Cup victory. His undeniable talent as a defender led him to top-tier clubs like Bologna, FC Porto and Toulouse, capturing the Portuguese championship in 1990 with Porto. Internationally, de Mol proudly wore the Red Devils jersey, earning 38 caps and competing in two World Cups. His iconic goal against the USSR in the 1986 World Cup round of 16 remains a high point in football history. After his retirement from professional play, de Mol seamlessly transitioned into coaching, managing Belgian clubs like Charleroi and Standard, and even serving on the national team staff. His influence extended across borders, guiding clubs in Cyprus, Greece, Thailand and Saudi Arabia. Stéphane de Mol's legacy is one of tireless passion for football, distinguished accomplishments, and selfless contributions to the sport. He leaves behind a record that will continue to inspire and resonate with football enthusiasts around the world. His unexpected passing is a loss for the global football community, but his enduring impact on the sport will never be forgotten. Number 1. Clark Haggins a decorated former linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers and a key player in the Super Bowl XL Championship, tragically passed away at the age of 46 on June 20, 2023. His unexpected passing was reported by his alma mater, Colorado State University, where Haggins left an enduring legacy as one of the most formidable defensive players in the program's history, still holding the career record for sacks. Selected in the fifth round by the Steelers in the 2000 NFL Draft, Haggins quickly rose to prominence, playing an integral role in the team's 2005 Super Bowl triumph, 
a season during which he achieved a career-best nine sacks. After an impressive seven-year tenure with the Steelers, Haggins also lent his talents to the Arizona Cardinals before hanging up his boots in 2012. During his time at Colorado State University, Haggins spearheaded the team to championships in 1997 and 1999. His remarkable record of 33 sacks remains untouched to this day. Hagen's indomitable spirit and his prowess on the field have permanently etched his name in the annals of both collegiate and professional football. As fans and fellow players mourn his untimely passing, Hagen's contribution to the sport continues to inspire, and his legacy in football endures. His impact on the sport serves as a testament to his remarkable talent and dedication. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.